couple of weeks ago I said you just straight up don't win baseball games if you um, strike out 13 times. Well, it turns out if you strike out 14 times, you can still win a baseball game. Mariners struck out 14 times today. Luke Rayley had a golden sombrero on an open floor night, uh, and they won 4-2. to two. Um, They also had 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, four consecutive innings with no hits. Um, they hadn't gotten a hit between the third and the eighth inning. We didn't play the bottom of the ninth. We didn't have to. We were up after the bottom of the eighth. And it got the close, or uh, the save, which was nice. Um, so that was nice. It was actually a really nice game to watch. Uh, a little stressful for a little bit for the catchers, as both of them took an absolute beating today. Cal took one off the toe, Diaz took one off the face mask, then Diaz took one off the foot, then Cal almost got hit by Julio in the on-deck swing, in the on-deck circle. Uh, there is a scoring change in the eighth inning. They had Julio, uh, they, they ruled it an E5, um, changed it to Julio getting a hit, and then advancing to second base on an E5, uh, which, which I think is good because, honestly, that was not an easy play for Bergman cost the, uh, the Astros a run, which was great. <laughs> and um, now my computer's broken, and I didn't score today's game, so I can't look at it. Ah! But yeah, yeah. Um, Brown came in, and he had nine strikeouts going into this game. Or, he had nine strikeouts today during the game, which was not good. Uh, Sauce got the win. Tyler Sacedo got the win. Stanek the save. Presley the loss. Logan Gilbert with a no decision again. Just not, not bad. I'm going to double check something because I... No, they're not giving Julio a hit. Julio reaches on a throwing error by Alex Bregman. Ryan Bliss scores. Jess Rojas scores. Julio Rodriguez back in. So Julio with RBI... He had two RBIs today, so I think they're counting it. He did have one hit and two RBIs, so I don't know. I'm hoping they change that scoring to getting a hit um, because he should have been two for four today. Josh Rojas went two for four. He did strike out today. Him and um, Bliss didn't strike out today. Bliss actually walked again and scored a run. One for, uh, 0 for 2. Still doesn't have his big league hit, first big league hit, but he scored in both of his games. He's He's made some not great plays on defense where he's given up, like, moving bases forward and turned what should have been double plays into fielder's choices, but he's learning, and I'm totally willing to allow that to be something that we see. Not that I have any say over the team, but him learning is definitely helpful because as you develop players, it gets better, uh, and you get better players. And Why did I do that? Mm. Uh, but Bliss being able to go out and uh, get the couple of runs and walking. He hasn't gotten a stolen base yet, but I think he will. I think he will probably get a... When he gets his first single, he's probably going to get a stolen base off of it, too. And that'll be great. I just cannot wait to see him get a stolen base. The man can run. Bliss can run. Class A can run, too. Uh, Class A came in and pinch hit for Hanniger, who got our first hit in four and a half innings almost five in four innings. We've had multiple times over the last couple of days. Um, it brings us to 30 and 26 after 56 games. Um, and it brings the Astros to 24 and 31, which is not great for them. Uh, the Rangers did win today. So that's not the end of the world though, because it was an interleague game. It does count, but us winning helps us. Um, most of the other games are done. The Blue Jays and White Sox. The Blue Jays are up 7-2 to two in the bottom of the ninth, and they've been in delay for like an hour and a half. <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, uh, Texas won. Um, division. These are down 4-3 over the Angels in top of the nine, so Yankees are... Nobody on, nobody out. Soto up to bat. And the A's beat the Rays, but I'm not really too worried about the A's. Would like it if the A's could be a competitive team, but I don't think they're going to be.
But the one thing we're talking about here with Julio, he put the ball in play a couple of times, had a couple of hard hits, a couple of hard hit balls, and that just allows you to have good things happen. <laughs> Excellent prediction. What was my prediction? Was it 24 and 31 in three hours? I have predicted every Major League Baseball team. Every MLB game, and I'm only at a 56% winning percentage, and I'm at a negative winning percentage in the NBA and NHL, uh, or in the NBA playoffs. But putting the ball in play and good things happen. Uh, so that's the Mariners with two straight wins. Three straight wins? Yeah, three straight wins. We had the 9-5 to five win, the 3-2 to two win, and we play Houston the next two days. Uh, so tomorrow's game is at 9.40, uh, Eastern 6.40 local. A lot of day games tomorrow. Pretty much everybody's in action, and ooh. Eans is expected to play game two tomorrow. Um, okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm excited to see that. Salcedo getting his second win is great. Absolutely love to see it. Uh, but yeah, don't really know what else is going to happen with the Mariners, but we did pretty well today by getting the ball on play. And then really poorly by striking out 14 times. It's just too many strikeouts. But we had a great defensive plays. We really robbed a home run. Theo looked... He was giving up a lot of hard contact. I do not like that. I'm hoping that we can eliminate the hard contact from our pitching staff soon, but I don't know what's going on with that. 